Uh, hey guys, this is Hot Noob here. Um, in this lesson, uh, lesson number 16, post 16, whatever, I'm going to be talking about lists. Now, um, lists are pretty uh, similar to standard arrays. They're different, however. Um, in an array, it will actually um, the make room on your in your computer's memory for the variable, right? This is um, this occurs when just open up an example. The this occurs when you do like new person in your bracket three, right? With your array, um, lists aren't like that. They're a bit different. Basically, with a list, um, it's pretty much just um, a referencing it. You know, it just uses references. Uh, if you remember back to um, references, uh, but in this case, you don't have to use references. So um, when you go like um, write list dot add, it'll make a reference to um, this string. Right. That way, it doesn't really have to make a whole bunch of space for it. However, um, because it uses referencing, it's going to be slower when you execute it. So, um, pretty much lists are used for um, dynamic or ch constantly changing inputs and data, whereas arrays are used for more static and less dynamic um, data. Right? So, um, I think I have an example in here. Okay, so. I'm just going to read this. For example, when programming a scene in a game, you can load all of the variables that you want um, that you won't be adding more of, such as the actual map itself, and you'll uh, use a list to store things such as items and other objects that will be constantly added and removed, right? Because it actually takes quite a bit of CPU usage or CPU time when you resize an array, right? <coughs> so, um, just uh, notes: um, the list class is not actually native to um, the language, like completely native. So you have to use the using statement system dot collections dot generic. And um, here's the syntax. Uh, for some odd reason, I have these t tags in here. Don't know why. Just ignore this here. We'll fix that later. Anyway, with the list, um, <coughs> you're gonna see it as a um, list, right? And then you have these two brackets, or you know, pointy brackets and with a t in it, a capital T normally. And then you got your list name equals new list and t. Now the t you're gonna see a lot of um, syntax definitions like this here. I'll just um, show you an example. Um, yeah, just do it here. So list, right? See how it says um, class system collections generic list, and in the brackets has that capital T. That's what I mean by um, it by the syntax declaration sort of way. Anyway, the T stands for the object type. And um, you don't, it's not always going to be in brackets or pointy brackets like this. Sometimes it will be inputted as a parameter. It all depends on who makes it. <coughs> okay, so I'm um, just Here's a quick example of the usage, and again, apparently, there's some bugs with my site that I'll be fixing later. Just gonna copy it and paste this so we get the proper coloring. Right. So um, here we're just uh, declaring it, right? we're declaring the list objects with the type of string, then with the uh, here we're adding the objects, right? Now notice how there's no um, length declared or anything like that. You can however give it a length or um, a max amount 
if you want to be more efficient and precise. However, usually you're not going to know um, exactly how many items you're going to be putting in a list because you're using it because it's constantly changing, right? So um, you normally you're just going not going to, you're just going to ignore that max and slots or whatever. Um, uh, rather than using length, like like you do with the standard arrays, you lose you're using count, and you'll notice that in a lot of times, like it'll use count or length, it just switches quite often. So, if you're using an object that's uh, some sort of an array and you say dot length, but it's not showing up, just make just uh, try dot count, and chances are it's, that's it's um, going to be that. Right. So I'm just going to run this quickly to, um, you know, show you an example of it actually doing something. I'm just going to add the console dot read line so you can see the output. Right. Um, and of course I got an error like normal. Right, write this stuff, write this crap too. Pretty plain and simple. And that's pretty much um, lists right there. Um, hopefully uh, you understand it. If not, um, try going back to the post about the arrays. And um, yep.